Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I thought I would give you an updated tour of my craft room. I've toured my craft room a few times on my channel, but I did get a new storage system, so I wanted to show that to you, and I figured it would be, um, you know, fun just, just to see everything, and a good excuse to clean everything up. So we'll start here, over on the side. Um, this is my door to come in, and I have a cart right here that used to be like my main crafting cart, but now I just keep like extra glue and all my punches and my crocodile paintbrushes. My stickles are in there too. So that's what I use that for. All right, bye Gus, see you later. And there's my new Cushing calendar. This is the storage unit that I got last year, you might remember from my old craft room tour. I ordered this from Target and it holds a lot of stuff. Um, it has mostly the same things in it, but a few different ones. I'll open it up and show you. Up here is where I keep um, my new things that I need to show in uh, the next week's haul. I keep buttons and beads in here. Um, there's some things that I've made. That's my daughter and me. Um, there's a gumball machine with buttons in there. So in this cabinet on the top shelf, I have um, my ink pads. As you can see, they're labeled. I have seed beads here. This, I think, is empty now. Um, I keep li little like packets of embellishments here, mostly from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. These are uh, bins with like random ephemera, um, paper flowers, that sort of thing. I keep all my snowflake things in here, like uh, embellishments and sequins. There are, I just did this um, bin. This is all my Christmas stickers and embellishments, things like that. There I have my Christmas sequins, which is obvious because of the gingerbread packaging. And these are my diamond dots and clay beads. Doesn't have seed beads anymore. I put those in that other container. Here I have my Hobby Lobby sequins and winter sequins. In these bins I have, you can see all my sequins and Haiti beads. Over here I have uh, pretty sequin tins and sequin tins miscellaneous. Over here are just all my regular stickers. Uh, this is a huge bin from TJ Maxx and I love because it has a cover, but it puts a lot of stickers in there. And my jemmies and sequins sequin jars in there. Um, this is all my buttons galore and more stuff when I used to design for them. In this drawer I have, let's say, an old notebook. I have extra embellishments. I have my glitters and pastes in here. I don't have too many, but that's what I have. Um, my eyelets and brads are in there and my uh, cartridges for my uh, photo printer. So. As you can see, this is a really nice big cabinet from Target that fits a lot, and it's pretty. That's a little angel I made for KS Craft. Okay, moving over, this is the cart that I got from Michaels last year. A lot of us found it on clearance for $20, and I haven't changed this too much uh, since I showed it last. On the top is a plate rack that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I painted it pink and that's where I store like my prettier um, paper pads and I also store my um, tonic papers here and my big Sizzix paper packs and I keep some trims up there as well on the hooks. Um, in on this shelf there are some doodlebug things that I made and I have one folder or one um, bin of embossing folders and I got these bins at Dollar Tree a while ago. And these bins, this one has other dies because this one is Sizzix dies. So these are like pre-packaged dies. I have uh, loose ones in albums. So that's where those are. And this is really handy. I could just take the whole bin out and bring it over to my desk or just flip through them and take what I need. Down here on this shelf, I have, these are uh, three photo albums full of dies. They're labeled. And then here are my um, non woodblock stamps. And I have these labeled as well. There's like um, a Christmas category, a sentiments category, that kind of thing. On the bottom shelf, I have three more 
uh, photo albums full of dyes. And then I have these photo boxes full of different trims. Um, let me show you, like this one is miscellaneous trims and I did just organize this so it looks nice and neat. So um, I did make some of these um, like ribbon holder bobbin thingies. Those, that's a die from KF's Crafts, but that's where I like wound my loose trims on. And the other ones are just ones that came pre-packaged like that. And then that box is all my pom-pom trims. So there's that. And this corner just has a couple of pillows, has my um, little table I got at Five Below, and I have my chicken container here, and I just have my Valentine trims in there right now. Um, this mirror I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and I just hung some of those gingerbread guides that I made at Christmas time. So. Uh, yeah, there's that. And now this is the big new storage system that I just got that inspired me to reorganize um, and arrange my whole craft room. I got this at, well, I got it from walmart.com. It's very similar to the IKEA Kalex system, but we don't have IKEA in my area and they don't ship to me. So I was looking for an alternative and this got really good reviews. It's from Better Homes and Gardens. I will uh, link it down below if you're interested. The price was really reasonable and it was easy to put together as well. So, okay, here's Gus. Gus is back. Uh, so let me just show you what I have on this um, storage system. On the top are just some things that I like to look at these are things that I've made. Um, I made this at Christmas time and I left it out because I'm going to make more or throughout the year for next Christmas. These are just some projects that I made that I like looking at at the moment. They're very seasonal because it's winter. There's my printer. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about how I like this printer and I do like it a lot. I don't use it for photos, but it works fine for printing ship shipping labels and digital papers. And that's a lamp that I got from QVC. Okay, so let me show you what is in all of the bins. I have them labeled. Um, these tags I got at Dollar Tree and they're chalkboard tags and I use chalk markers on them. They are erasable, so if I change around what I have in the bins, I could just, you know, change what the label says. So these uh, bins here, these are from Better Homes and Gardens as well. They fit perfectly into the cabinet. So this one is coloring. So I have, I have all my alcohol markers in here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. And I also have some colored pencils and um, acrylic paint pens. So kind of hard to see sorry but that's what's in there and we'll just go across here is all of my printer paper these are uh, shelves from Dollar Tree and I have just different colors and weights of paper this one I have my Nouveau drops and my little acrylic paints most of them anyway some of them are um, elsewhere because I couldn't fit them all but I have most of them there this bin here has my wood stamps so um, let me show you how I store these Okay, I got this bin recently at Michael's. It was on sale for like $14.99. And it's one of their like um, uh, photo album or photo bins. And they come with all the different little containers like this. And they're perfect size for wood stamps. They, you know, they fit perfectly in there. So I haven't labeled them yet. I need to do that. But this is where I've been keeping my different wood stamps in these little boxes inside of the big box and that keeps them nice and protected and um, once I label them they'll be easy to find. I also use these. These are new containers from Dollar Tree and um, I haven't really organized these the way I want to yet but for now this is where these are. So all of my wood stamps go in here. I don't have a whole lot but this is fine for me. Okay, moving down to the next row, um, these are cards, and these are different cards that I've made. I have them uh, organized by subject, which I haven't labeled yet, but I did just make these uh, bins or, you know, filled them up. And these are from Dollar Tree as well recently, just like the ones that were in my wood, wood uh, stamp bin, but um, these are like the different shape ones. Okay, moving over here, I have a couple of bins of paper. These are solid, etc., and small pads. So um, all my 
like I said, small pads of solid papers. And back there, which I did not label, those are um, flowers, non-prima flowers. So I have to adjust that label. Okay, this one is a bin of clips, pens, charms, just basic like office supplies. And then over here, I have another tier tray, and this one is seasonal. I just keep out like, uh, you know, things that are, uh, things that I'm using in the current season to craft or just to inspire me to do some seasonal crafting. So that's what that is. And down here on this row, these are my solid 12 by 12 paper pads. I also keep my uh, 110 pound white paper here just because I needed a place to put it. So I have all these solid paper pads and these actually, these are not um, 12 by 12, but those are like old school um, paper pads. I don't know if you guys remember those, but I just put them out. So just to remind me of like my early days of scrapbooking. All right, so in this cube, we have all different Christmas 12 by 12s. Um, and I put them flat so I can flip through them easier and see what I have. In this bin, I have Christmas 6 by 6s and miscellaneous, miscellaneous small paper pads. So these are all my Christmas 6 by 6s and back there are just like miscellaneous ones, not necessarily Christmas. Over here, I have just Michael's Christmas 12 by 12s, and I also have some snow globes, DIY snow globes there that I haven't gotten to yet, so I need to start working on those. And I also have to figure out how to hold this up a little bit better because I don't like them falling down like that and bending. Okay, down in the last row, we have embellies and Prima flowers. So in this bin, here are all like embellishments that I've made. And on the side here are all my Prima flowers. In this cube, we have fall and Halloween. As you can see, I really don't have that much, but I don't do much fall and Halloween crafting. Over here, we have six by six and six by eight paper pads. And I have this wood box that just fits perfectly in there. And it uh, allows me to like flip through all my different paper pads to see what I have, keeps them out on display. So I could just quickly look and, you know, find what I'm looking for. And in the last cube, I have my prim crafting. So this is um, what I'm going to be using to do like the gingerbread bin that I showed you that was on the top of this organizer. Um, I've got some floral foam, some buckets, um, wood shapes and fruit slices and cinnamon broom. So that's what's in there. All right, so that is my new storage cabinet. I think it looks really nice and it holds a lot. I used to have a big like a five foot long table here with a tablecloth on it and I had my printer on it and pretty much, well, everything that was on that table is in here plus a lot more and I could fit so much more and it's much neater. So definitely a good investment for me. All right, so let's move on. Um, next to that, I have a bin of wrapping paper and then I had this, this I got from Decor Steels uh, when I first made my craft room down here in the basement a few years ago and I love this cabinet. It's called a um, vintage nurse's cabinet, something like that. And it's really nice and deep as you can see the shelves. Um, I fit a lot of paper in here and they're nice and sturdy. It's metal so um, it holds magnets on the side. But I have um, all my 8x10 cardstock here. Here are my like foiled ones. Um, and these are these shelves are just like random 12 by 12 papers. I kind of know in my head what's what. Um, there's Maggie Holmes on one side or on one shelf. There's Michaels on another. There's solid 12 by 12s here. So, or, you know, loose papers, not paper pads. So there's that. And over on this side, I have all my ribbons, you know, these big bundles that everyone gets from uh, Michaels. I have th those hanging here on this metallic shelf. There's an album I made. In this bin, I have Hobby Lobby ribbon bundles. So I just have all my ribbon bundles out so I could see them uh, right away. On the top of it, I have 
just containers of different things. Like I just got this one at Target. So I put all my like chunky threads in there and I just like how that looks too. I have my makeup sponges back here. I got this from uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I use these for uh, painting sometimes. These are just some berries, uh, pom-poms and a gumball machine. And back there I have just like a little um, Phillips storage thingy that has just random craft supplies that I don't use that much, but I do sometimes. Over on this side, I have another one of those shelves with some things that I made, some crafty supplies. Here are some pom-poms in this bin. This um, Teresa made for me and just some things that actually I wanna give away on, in that shelf. So I'm gonna be having a giveaway coming up very soon. In this container here, this is a cart that I had gotten from Walmart a while ago and I spray painted it aqua and that's where I keep all my different ribbons. I have pinks and reds in this section. It looks really nice and neat because I did just organize it for you guys. <laughs> um, this is my aqua bin and the bottom is miscellaneous. So that's all my non-pink and aqua ribbons in spools. So really nice and organized. You can see through it so I can, you know, kind of see what I have. And yeah, so I have like so some handmade projects in here. I have all my pearl cottons in here. I have this bin. I don't know what to, or this, uh, Thing of ribbon I don't know what to do with so it's right there. I made this little pot holder so he's just on display there. It just fell off. I'll put it there for now. And here under the um, cabinet I have some of these you know these um, storage bins from Walmart. This one actually I just took all my small paper pads out. You saw they're in that storage cabinet and I have to do something else with this one but it's always nice to have a spare. Um, these are little um, threads from Hobby Lobby and then here are just some different things in there you can see what everything is labeled and on the bottom I have some random papers and glitter paper packs as well all right let's move on Let me stand up okay this is a door to like the uh uh, furnace and that thing, that sort of thing in my basement. And these are just some like tags I've made that I just keep on display. Um, so I can use them or just look at them and I use them frequently. There's my ironing board. I just keep up. Um, my daughter gave me this for Christmas. So I'm just leaving that up. Up on this shelf, I have a uh, seam binding, rickrack, other sorts of trims. There's a banner that I made. Over here, this is my baker's rack that has a lot of things in it. Um, I have this big basket here and this has a lot of my sewing patterns. It also has some scrap paper back there because I do um, die cutting around here as well. Um, I keep my shred in here for packaging. Now in these bins, these I gotten at Walmart at back to school time. Um, this is where I keep other things, like here I keep collection packs and these are like, you know, ones like this, like America the Beautiful, um, there's a Halloween one, some crafty ones, things you can get at like um, Hobby Lobby. Here I keep my steel roll dies. Um, this is where I keep my punch boards and my stamping platform. This one is where I keep some like shaker um, supplies. And here is where I keep planner things and uh, pre-made envelopes and cards. Down here, this is um, one of the things I just organized a lot and I'm, I'm so glad I did. Okay, in this bin here, I just keep um, my snow and cocoa and pebbles paper pads. And I also have folders of random like paperwork for my office. Now in these bins, these are the ones that are from, or not bins, envelopes. These are the ones that are from Hobby Lobby and I have them all labeled. And I also have like a master list of everything that's in here, but it has like all my Stamperia papers are in this one. Um, all those are my Minte papers. So I have things like that, but then I also have like different collections, like um, that's Maggie Holmes Heritage. I don't know, okay, let's focus here. But I have them all labeled. Um, there's some Cartabella Market collections and they're all in the order of my master list. So very helpful for when I need um, a certain collection. And let's stand up again. Okay, so this is on the uh, far side of my craft room. And this is my big countertop and cabinets where I usually do um, 
Well, right here is my um, die cutting and um, embossing station. So this is my relatively new Big Shot Pro, or no, Big Shot Plus that I use for all of my die cutting. And I have the big uh, plates to go with that, but I also use my small plates too for smaller dies. I also do my, well, like I said, I do my embossing over here too. So I have this metal bin of, there's my heat gun. So when I'm done with it, I can just put it in there. Here's that little cart that I just got from Target with most of my embossing powders on that. It's a little garbage can. Here are just some embossing supplies. These are bins of charms and there's just my little squishy thingy. Um, on the top shelf, I have buttons and fruits and just some inspirational kind of things up there. Things that I've made, things that people have sent me. Um, next to the die cutting station, I have all of this stuff, pens and pencils and pokey tools and tape and washi and sewing supplies. So, and there's an extra light bulb that I forgot to move, but there you go. <laughs> uh, there's my scoreboard there, that kind of thing. Okay, over here is my big cutting mat, which I use to cut fabric on. Um, I have some, I put seasonal books on this um, book stand here and this stand here. I put things that people have sent me. So thank you everybody who sent me those things. Um, this too, this is from Pam, I love that. Um, let's see, okay, over here I have my bead storage. This is what I got from Michael's a while ago and they're all different sections that you can pop out the section and rearrange. And so I have beads and clothespins and lots of stuff like that. Also on the top, things that people have made for me and um, just random doodads and stuff. On the shelf up there, I keep um, charms, I keep some tool, and I also keep thread and lace and mini mason jars that I use to store like beads and stuff in. Um, over here are just bins of cabochons that I use to make charms. There's also like jump rings and things like that. Um, these, what are these called? The bloom storage units. I keep my jewelry supplies in these. This is a garbage, other things of charms over there. Um, my tripod for making videos. In the drawers, I keep mostly my sewing supplies, extra, well, fabric, um, felt, that kind of thing. Behind that curtain is a lot of storage, which, you know, you don't probably want to see. So let's move over here. I have this big file folder that I keep Maggie Holmes and Snow and Coco embellishments and chipboard, all those kinds of things in there. Um, there's a shelf of things people have sent to me and things that I've made. Both of those shelves, actually. There's my clock. Right here is my sewing desk. Uh, that's my sewing machine. And here I have like my current design team projects. There's a tissue box I made. This is a garbage. Um, I keep lots of like, um, let's see, down in this section, I keep my traveler's notebook supplies. I keep, um, well, I think, yeah, it's stamping supplies in there. Oh yeah, and there are some more woodblock stamps. Okay, so I gotta rearrange that. I haven't rearranged this part of my uh, room yet. Over here, I keep packaging and laminating supplies. And then on the side of the desk are just like um, my poster boards and huge things that I can't find a spot for anywhere else. Uh, my sewing table is my tart warmer, my cute little lamp, all my um, threads that I use most frequently there. So let's move over. This is where I usually sit to do my paper crafting. And at my desk here, I've got my um, ink blending sponges. These I just found my little spoon, so I put them in a little cup to, you know, hopefully do something with. And I have this wood bin that I got at TJ Maxx and I have it filled with um, like all my pokey tools and scissors and things like that. Um, I have this acrylic stand here that holds, well, my um, paper trimmers are in there, my different notebooks and things that I use for my paper crafting all the time. And over here on this desk, there's a bin of glues and other adhesives, um, things that I've made, my glue sticks. These are just things that I'm working on right now. And this Lazy Susan, I have my jewelry tools in, I have scissors, 
and yeah, glues, washi tapes comes in handy a lot. There's my task clamp that I use when I'm doing, when I need a lot of extra light. And let's see, there's a little dish of my business card there. There's my hot glue gun. Over here, I have my one of my quilts that I've made and I have pink lights on it. And let's see, on the floor here, I have in that basket our current um, like collection packs that I'm working with. Right now I have Valentine's Day. I also put spring and Easter out, so because that's coming up soon. Next to that is my Valentine's Day bin and that, that blue bin. The yellow one under my desk is my cleaning supplies and that's the garbage for my paper crafting. I also have bins of cards that I've made and the pink bin is for scrap papers. Over here, uh, this is the last part of the tour, is my plant stand that I also got at Decor Steels a while ago. Um, I just put, let's see, I have washi in this container, this lamp I got at Cracker Barrel, I have my Bluetooth speaker here, that's strawberry cream. Up on this shelf are little embellishments, um, doodle pops, pom-poms, that kind of thing. All right, on this shelf, I have, these are bins that I got at Target at back to school time last year. And you can see all the different things that are in there, miscellaneous and bellies. This says bling and um, it's labeled by what's in what section there. On the bottom, I didn't um, label this correctly yet, but this is all my Tim Holtz stuff, all the embellishments and um, crafting supplies. Over here, this is my bin of random like glitter and embellishments. Um, I've got some more cabochons here. This was like my original bin of crafting supplies, so I just kind of left it like that. And over here on the edge is, this is a uh, plate stand that I keep some envelopes of things I use a lot. Like here are good polka dot papers, basil cardstock, my shimmers and pearls, glitter singles. This whole thing is acetate and vellum. And then I have my spare storage envelopes from Hobby Lobby right there. So as you can see, I use those a lot. And that is it for my craft room. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions about it, um, I know usually when I show my craft room, people ask the name of the color and it's called Lake Breeze from Valspar. So if you're interested in that. So yeah, this is in my basement. Um, we finished the basement, I don't know, a few years ago. And since then, this has been an ongoing project. It used to be my husband's office and my sewing room but now it's just my craft room which is nice because i can take up the whole thing and he doesn't mind so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed i'd love if you could come over and craft with me <laughs> but anyway i will talk to you guys later let me know what you think please be sure to give me a follow if you're not following me yet and i will talk to you guys later bye